and this is where the UFO landed. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Chaz Fernandez. I'm a local Hudson County realtor, and today we're going to be exploring Hudson County Park, aka James Braddock Park, and if you're a local, you just call it Park 80. So, as you can tell from the map, we're entering Hudson County Park through Bergline Avenue, right on the 79th, 80th Street, as you can see. And growing up, even to this day, I've always considered Hudson County Park to be the Hudson County version of Central Park, and you'll see why. So, we've just walked in, and you're already greeted by with some basketball courts. Really good for the local kids. Even adults play here, I see. And what makes it good for the kids, too, is that they have shorter basketball courts, shorter rims. So it's good for the kids, especially if they're young and you want to teach them how to play. That's really great. All right, so continuing a little bit farther, I know it's like, wait, are you showing me a parking lot? No, this is actually where the main park is, in, in the Park 80, right? So they're actually redoing it, which is really cool. It's supposed to be done by the summer. And what I can tell you from last year is that this is a huge playground, many different things that kids could play on, all the standard stuff. But farther in the back, right, they even had a water park, all free. Because they come here, water park, playground, Really awesome. And one thing that makes Hudson County Park, you know, so cool is, A, it's the size. It's it's a huge park in Hudson County. It's located right next to Bergenline Avenue, which well, that's a whole video in itself, if you're unfamiliar. And there's so many things to do here, right? Like I said, there's parks for the children. There's the lake. They have a, a restaurant on the lake. You can kayak, you can fish, basketball courts. There's tennis courts. There's also, uh, they have a racquetball thing. There's a baseball field. There's uh, they have a soccer field, they have a baseball field. The soccer field is also a football field. They have a, a free workout, a free workout center. Listen, you're gonna see all of it. And not to mention, some really there's also been some strange things in this park. Back in the '50s, uh, apparently a UFO landed in this park. You look it up. Look up the UFO North Bergen, and you can read all about it. So now we're at the roundabout, which we're still on the side of the park. But as you can see, we're almost centered, and. We're gonna go continue down this path and you're gonna see we're, we're gonna be greeted with our tennis courts to our right and then racquetball courts to our left. All right, as promised, here we are at the tennis courts. As you see, there's multiple courts. There must be at least eight, eight to 10 tennis courts here that you can use. Here's two more. Oh, three more. Like I said, all free. So I can walk right in. The only time I need to be aware of that sometimes in the summer, they have the high school teams. They practice here. But like I said, there, there's enough courts around where even if half of them are being used, there's still plenty. Most of these don't get used because, you know, how many people play tennis? But it's just awesome. It's another awesome thing that you can do at Hudson County Park. Again, just showing just how large the, the tennis courts are and this is like the official entrance which is pretty cool yeah so let's say it's a steve Berger tennis facility and it was dedicated in september 2004. pretty awesome all right and now we're towards i would say the east end of the park okay and this is the man who the, who the park named after the great james j braddock he's a guy who was from from, from north bergen Worked in the docks, working class man. He also boxed. Very average, mediocre record, but he fought the world champion Max Bear and he beat him and he became the, the world champion. He even went and, and fought other legends such as, you know, the great Joe Lewis. And now still in the East End, as you guys, you guys are following on the map, right next to the statue, right? Here's our baseball field, baseball, softball field. Okay, and let's go, we're gonna go check it out further. And this is where the UFO landed. All right, but in all seriousness, this is a great open field. You see behind me, they have the softball field doing a 360. Huge grass area. And what's really cool about this is that sometimes throughout the year, they do like little fairs here. They put the little roller coaster, you know, uh, you know those, those games you see at like the arcades. They throw in the ball and food. Very cool. They do it throughout the year. Sometimes they hold events here. But a lot of times, like I said, you're gonna see, you know, softball games or just you know, kids playing around, which is pretty cool. All right, and here are those racquetball courts that I mentioned. They seem to be closed off today. Uh, not sure why, um, but here we are. Again, just one more thing to do. And for reference, as you guys see on the map, everything is close by, okay? So right now we're gonna say hi to these geese 
and then let's, let's go check out the lake, which is personally my favorite part of this park. All right, so as we're entering the lake area, wildlife is evidently still strong. Hudson County Park. So this lake is approximately one mile. I believe it comes out to about 0.9 of a mile all the way around. Ask a high school track runner, he'll tell you the exact, the exact uh, number. And um, I don't know, I always found this to be it's very serene, very peaceful, you know, just give you guys an outlook of the lake. You know, like I said, this doesn't even show you the full shape of it, you know. Um, but it's just nice. You can walk around. Like I said, it, it feels nice because it feels like you're taken back from, I guess, to our urban society, which is Hudson County, but you're still very close by. And in, in the later years, they've done a lot to the park, right by the lake, as you can see, a little close up right there. Now you can kayak during the summer. I don't think anyone's kayaking during the winter. I know I wouldn't be. And as you can see right there as well, they had a little cafe. The cafe, it's Nature's Park Cafe. And I know on the top floor, you can also sit down and eat. I've actually eaten there, had breakfast, it was very good. And really nice views, if you can imagine. You can actually eat on the top floor, which is cool, right outside. And one thing I haven't mentioned too, is that there's a lot of public restrooms in the park. You know, this place being one of them. And, which is good. It's good to know that public parks have restrooms. You never know when you need to go. And one thing about the lake too is that it's, uh, it is okay to fish. The people who do fish here, okay? Uh, I believe it's one of those lakes where I think the, like the, yeah, the town puts in, the town actually puts fish in so people can fish them. I think it's like one of those kind of things. Um, yeah, let's go check out some more. By the way, as a little side note, if there's a particular park in Hudson County that you feel like does not get enough love, you don't talk about, let me know because I'll check it out and we'll do a tour about it. I think every kid has walked around this park and always wanted to go to that little island over there and just walk around it. To this day, I'm still a little curious about, I don't know, what I'd see if I went there. So we're not gonna walk the entirety of this. I'm sure you guys get the point, <laughs> but we're actually gonna go, there's actually like a, a little pathway you could take off of this that's gonna lead us to the football field, the workout center, and I think you guys really like to see that. All right, trying to find a way to enter the trail. <laughs> this little, it got a little muddy. It's not like it's a little muddy in some parts. So as you can see, this is, this is right, this is right off the lake, as you guys saw. All I have to do is make a left turn, okay? And oh, you're gonna see, I'm gonna walk through this trail. Very short. And then, we hit the field. Let's go. All right, so here we are. Here's the football field, AKA Bruin Stadium, hence the bleachers. This is where you're gonna find North Bergen High School football games, North Bergen High School soccer games, all that kind of stuff. So left, all these trailers that you see, they're actually, they're actually preschool. It's actually a preschool. So the North Bergen preschool they have here. Always thought it was kind of strange to have it on the field, but I was also like, huh, it's also kind of cool to have a preschool technically at the park. So it has its pros and cons. And you guys can see right here, you know, bleachers. So obviously this is where people come to watch all, all, those, all those high school games that I, I mentioned. They have track meets here. You know, it's a nice field and it's for public use. I see there's people running, people working out. You know, sometimes you'll see, you know, kids playing soccer. All right, so right next to the field, as you can see, okay, this is that one of those workout centers I was referencing about before. Only for adults. You can't be a kid and come here. You can't be unsupervised. And that's it. All this free equipment, you know? It's not as good as a regular gym, obviously. You know, all these machines are based off your own body weight, so they're pretty easy. But I said, it's, it's another thing that's offered for free. I think it's super cool. They even have like a little playground next to it. So if you're an adult working out, like, your child can be you playing. So it's pretty good. Some of the machines too are, are actually, they actually made some, uh, some of the machines which are accessible. As you can see right there at the, at the pectoral fly machine, but if you have a wheelchair, you can use it. Whereas over there at the standard pectoral fly machine. So pretty cool. And right over here, 
you know, we have more public restrooms, which you can never have too many public restrooms, especially in a park this big. So right outside the stadium, pretty much in the parking lot, they have a dog park. So I won't go too much into that. It's pretty self-explanatory, but like I said, it's another thing that, that, that this park offers. All right, so right now we're, we're walking towards the north end of the park. And what we're going to see here is there's going to be more fields. I'm actually look, I'm lucky right now. There's actually more stuff that, there's actually more stuff that, that they have added. So, man, that's one thing about North Bergen. When it comes to Hudson County Park, you know, they, they add a lot of resources to it. Every year, I feel like there's always something new, which I think is pretty cool. So, this is another baseball field slash soccer field I've seen it be used for. And there's actually multiple games going on right now as we speak, which is kind of crazy. It's like there's three games going on. They also do, uh, you know, soccer games here as well. I said, this is a big field. This field right here, what we just saw, is actually the newest, the newest field that they, that they put in. I remember they put it in a couple years ago. And, and right here, they have uh, more, more public restrooms. I would say this is probably the best public restroom they have in Hunter County Park. I remember going in here a couple years ago and being like, whoa, this is really nice for a, uh, for a park restroom, you know? Yeah, and this is new. So look, we're right here, right to the baseball field, as you can see. And right there, they put like a, a mini turf field. Very small. That's like a soccer field without soccer nets. Uh, but like I said, hey, it's another thing. You know, one thing too that the park has is it's a huge, it goes, you know, it must be like eight blocks of just straight up uh, spots where you can grill. They have like those, uh, you know, those park, those little, like those mini park grills. I've been to, you know, I've, I've been to those family barbecues and the friends family barbecue and it's always, it's always a nice vibe and by the way guys like i've mentioned before i'm a hudson county realtor and if you or someone you know is looking to buy sell rent in hudson county my contact info is in the description below towards the end of the park at least one end of the park right we were just over there by the fields now we're in this section they have really nice um you know war war memorials and this is just a nice spot in general or if you just want to have a seat on the bench I believe those tables over there, you can play chess on them, chess or checkers. Yep, it is one of those. You can play chess or checkers on them. If you're into that, I haven't played chess at some time. And as you can see, uh, we're approaching Bergen Line Avenue. So it's nice too, because you know, you're in the park, you sometimes you feel like you, you can almost get lost in the park, but at the same time, you're also very close. All right back on Bergen Line Avenue, right across the street, there's a Burger King, a CVS, a, a Dunkin' Donuts. Not to mention a White Castle. A block away and look and this is standard right here it's very standard to see a food truck the corn guys had before great hot dogs great corn great arepas you know so guys if you enjoyed the video click right here to watch a playlist on more things you can do in hudson county and subscribe to to be updated with hudson county whether it be parks things to do the real estate market or all the above right thanks once again and my name is chas fernandez